Hey, what's up, my crazy subscribers? This is Joe King John City 4, and today I'll be talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare having SPMM. If you guys are not familiar with this feature, it's pretty much a feature that keeps you on the same level at all costs. You don't get better or worse. Pretty much it throws you on the wolves if you do super good. So I've been reading about this whole situation from Facebook pages of Modern Warfare and also Instagram and Twitter. You know, I've been reading a lot of comments. And um, people have gone to the point where they're going to quit the game if this feature doesn't get removed. And uh, the sad thing I'm going to tell you guys, this feature will never be removed from this game. Because the developers are that lazy. I mean, I already talked about this situation a long time ago about the devs being lazy. And uh, they're not going to do nothing about it. So, um, all I can say is, yes, the feature does freaking suck. And I don't support it either, because I myself, I mean, I've gone through it too. I go through hell on the freaking daily because, you know, I do good in ground war at all times, you know, 30 kills, 10 deaths, 40 kills, 10 deaths, pretty much doing good at all times. And uh, like maybe like around the third or fourth match or fifth match, you know, pretty much I get thrown against, thrown in the wolf pit, pretty much. And uh, my whole team sucks. The whole enemy team is like a bunch of sweaties. They're jump shotting. They're jump shotting like they're playing Fortnite. They're drop shotting. They're quick scoping. You know, they're like rushing. They're listening to your footsteps. You know, these crazy sweaty ass try hard people. They throw you against that on the fifth gameplay that you do good or something like that. And uh, you're stuck against them. You're stuck until you get bad pretty much they're trying to force you to get bad in order for you to do good again and then pretty much proceed with the cycle it sucks it's a really sucky feature and it's annoying as hell too because i'm trying to keep up this consistency and they just throw me up in the wolves but oh well <laughs> it's a i take it as a learning experience but i'll tell you guys more about it like later on in the video so yeah the truth is sbmm is not going to be removed and you know, it's a sucky feature. If anything, they could have solved the situation by adding leak play. That's the most simplest solution ever. Instead of putting the sweaties on your face, they should have put a, they should have given the sweaties a home instead, which is leak play. The same way that Black Ops, you know, pretty much solved that situation. Why didn't they just add leak play? And it goes back to it again. The developers are lazy to update the freaking lobby leaderboards, dude. <laughs> That's why they don't want to have too much work. They don't. They don't want to have too much work. Why do you guys think that uh, that app that used to be like around Modern Warfare and Call of Duty Ghost, it used to be called uh, Call of Duty Elite? You guys remember that app? You guys want to know why it died? Because the freaking devs they don't want to update the leaderboards. It cost them too much. That's why. That's why it died off. They removed several features because they wanted to die off. They wanted to kill the app. So now. Instead of like trying hard to like really give the user a better experience, they just settle down with SBMM. They want to throw you in the wolves. But like, hey, you know, what can I say? I told you so. Their devs are lazy for this situation. And they don't want to see the solution. They just want to see the money, pretty much. So um, all I got to say, guys, is that uh, in my opinion, just learn from SBMM at this point. Just learn because at the same time I mean they throw you up in the wolves and everything but like the same time you're facing against people that are actually good at the game and uh, you learn you learn from them you learn about difficult you know how difficult the challenge is and uh, once you do that I mean you know what weapons to use in what situations you know the map spawns you know the map more better because if you don't take a certain route I mean you gotta change it up because they're always gonna be there okay let me go to this other route you learn you end up learning because if your weapon works against these sweaties, you're going to be pretty much like, hey, you know, you know, I just need to change this attachment and I'll get better with it. Or remove this and I'll be better with it. I'm better against these people. So not only are you getting better against this difficult, sweaty ass people, you're getting better at the game. To me, that's a learning experience. To me, the SBMM is a learning experience. No matter what, it's going to be there at the end of the day. So at the end, I'm like, well, I'll just learn from it. Let me see what weapon works against them. And then I'll take it on to ground war. <laughs> so, uh, it, to me, like, it's a learning experience. It, it, taught, it teaches me a lot. And um, that's where I get my best class setups, to be honest. Like, my MP7, the P90, you know, all that stuff. Because I face against difficult opponents. And if it, if it works against them, it will work against anybody else. That's why I keep on doing good in this game. So, um, that is it, guys, I want to talk about today. I don't support SBMM. It's an annoying feature and all. 
but like it's gonna be it's gonna be there guys towards the end of the year no matter how much we complain about this it's going to be there because the devs are that lazy about this about this thing so that is it subscribe for more if you guys want to see more Call of Duty content